Right, we had a fella who was threatening himself with a knife to his neck. Um, I've got great crisis negotiation skills, so I had to get down there ASAP. Hitch. My couple. Go ahead, Sarge. What have we got then? Uh, young male. He's yep. uh, brandishing a knife. It's not really a threat at the moment, okay. but uh, yeah. Right, have we got a name? Most important thing is a name. Name, name. What's his name? Uh, D D James Sarge. James. James. Okay. All I want you to do is hang back when I give you the signal. Be ready, okay? Is, that, is it necessary, Sarge? Listen, have you got over 10 years experience dealing with high crisis situations? No, Sarge. Yeah, didn't think so. Hang on. Hold there, mate. I'm not, it's all right. I've forgotten his bloody name now. Uh, is there a king? Shaquille? Devonte. It's James! All right, all right, don't blue shout at me. I'm trying to help you out, you cheeky git. Sarge, you, you can't say that. Oh, all right, all right. Listen, Javon. James! Sorry, James. Listen, whatever it is, mate, we can help you out. We can work this out, mate. Uh, I've screwed up, man. This guy. Jeez, man, about to boss Listen. himself and his neck. What, 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 what do you do for a living, Mikel? What, what, what's your passion? It's James! Sorry, James, James. I run my own manure business. M manure? You, you shovel shit for a living. Help me out here, mate. No. I own the business. I, I work in an office. Oh, listen. You own your own business, Jermaine. That's fantastic. It's James. James, sorry. What, what, what else do you do? What, any hobbies? Uh, well, I am a musician. Oh, you're not going to have me one of those bloody mixtapes, are you? <laughs> hey? Yeah, so... I started to gain Cordell's trust and was able to build a rapport with him, which was very important. Um, after that, we was able to defuse the situation fairly quickly. No, I play the piano. You play the piano? That's, that's absolutely remarkable, mate. And I've got three kids. It just keeps getting better and better, isn't it? Hey? They're a blessing, aren't they? Hey? Where, where are they now? With their baby mama? No, I'm married. Okay. But, yeah, yeah, they're with their mum. Okay. Well, listen, mate, from what I've heard, why are you doing this, mate? You, you've got a lot to live for. Just, Mikhail, just, just, just give me the knife. It's James. Take the shot, Mikhail! What? I'm feeling wet. You're under arrest for carrying a knife and endangering the public. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jennifer McAdome, reporting for BS News. Today I'm here with Sergeant Murphy. So, Sergeant Murphy, can you tell us a little bit more about the incidents that took place earlier today? Uh, yeah, basically we had somebody that was uh, running amok on our streets, uh, brandishing a knife. Um, with my expertise, I was able to disarm him, uh, leaving an open shot for my uh, colleague. Um, he missed the headshot that I ordered, but uh, nonetheless, we was able to uh, take him down and that scumbag is now in custody. Wow, sounds intense. So would you consider yourself a bit of a Superman, Sergeant Murphy? Oh my God. No, you're flattering me. Uh, Superman, no. Hero, yes. Well, there you have it, folks. Chilling scenes here earlier today. Uh, Jennifer, um, what are you doing between the hours of 1 and 2 p.m. today? I'm on my break now and uh, I'll have to take you out for a full English breakfast. We're actually No, lying. no, no, where are my manners? Chips and a Savoy sausage. And if you're lucky, I'll let you... Uh, have a nibble on a real Sergeant thing. Murphy, we're live on air. Karen, love, if you're watching, dear, she came on to me. No, Karen, wait. I'm sorry, I'm not interested in your husband or his tiny sausage. Uh, excuse me, it is not tiny. I'm only two inches under the natural average. <laughs> That's the same thing I did last. That's the same thing I did last.